ASA's voice in Montgomery, Alabama, uh, in our state capital and here in Washington, D.C., have gone a long way towards improving the legislative environment towards construction policies, things like uh, retention reform, uh, prompt payment, um, the uh, indemnity reforms and those kind of things that we're still tackling today. It's an ongoing process, but we've won so many victories at the federal and, and then that flows down into the state level, enabling those victories to carry on throughout the states that it enables us to do our business better and it allows us to go back to being constructors rather than being the, the uh, contractors and part-time lawyers that we are often uh, forced to do. So it helps us focus on our business in the end. Education has been very, very critical with me. It's, I've learned more actually from ASA in the last seven or eight years about business and I've known 30 years of business life. It's been fantastic. Uh, professional development, uh, personal development, and uh, wonderful uh, negotiating tips and, and contract negotiating tips. Uh, it's made me stronger and more confident in my abilities. It's also made us, uh, we've been more res respected by our customers because of our abilities to uh, negotiate our contracts. The American Subcontractors Association provides so many networking opportunities for its members, uh, whether it's a GC Expo uh, direct one-on-one -on -one relationship that a subcontractor can have with a general contractor, or whether it's the networking opportunities among the members and among the subcontractors themselves. I think that everything this organization does, and while, it, while this may have an educational bent to an event, or there may be an advocacy uh, bent to an event, all of it provides for that networking opportunity for these people to come together, learn from one another, learn how they can help one another. The, uh, the, the old saying that a rising tide rises all ships is definitely true when it comes to ASA. I think what I've learned or what I've gotten from ASA is a level of understanding of risk management in the construction industry. Uh, and because of that, our company has been much stronger, uh, particularly in the most recent uh, recession, uh, whether it's through a ASA program, a webinar, a national meeting, or just the networking among different uh, ASA members, it has given me the backbone to be a much stronger uh, contractor, a much better risk manager for our company, for my family so that our uh, company has been able to make it through this past recession uh, and start gaining a, a better foothold in the future. Well, ASA, everything we do is based around our members. So uh, every event is, is open to the public, basically, but the, the rate that for a seminar is always less for a member. So. Uh, and those are usually net-net type opportunities where we just want to get the information out there, whether it be through the web or through a live uh, seminar. The, uh, the, the membership, um, uh, you know, education comes in two ways. There's formal education uh, through seminars and, and online resources. But then there's also education that you glean from other people's experience. And so being a member in ASA and being active in the, in the governance of ASA has uh, made friendships uh, for me that where I can have people all around the country, people that I don't compete with, that I can call and I can say, you know, what are you doing about this problem? Are, are you seeing this problem? What do you know about this general contractor? What do you know about this architect or that engineer? And so uh, we can we we network in that way that would not happen if we weren't members of ASA.